Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of how I was able to capture the look on one of my videos that I created that's titled What YouTubers Don't Tell You. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so first things first, you want to do when you are creating an interview, sit down interview, you kind of want to like look around. Unfortunately, this room is not that big and I didn't want to use a white wall. So I was able to use these curtains that my brother has here kind of as like a backdrop. And then I have this chair and to create depth, we kind of just move the chair a little bit, um, a little bit more up. Um, but we'll worry about the chair placement later. Right now, I'm going to show you guys where I set up my lighting. All right, guys, so I have my light here. I have my backpack here. So I'm pretty much just gonna like show you guys kind of like what I go through, how I place my lights. And um, so this is gonna be my key light by GVM. Great product for the price. Um, so I'm gonna set it up. Um, always keep it in mind that my main subject is gonna be right here. So I'm thinking about maybe putting the light kind of like right here. I don't want it to be too direct, but I also don't want it to be too much to the side. So we're just going to play around with it a little bit to the best, what light looks the best for this setup. So I have this stand right here for the light. I also apologize for the really bad lighting, but this just goes to shows that that lighting will make a big difference in your videos. All right, guys, now I'm going to set up the light and I'm going to hook it up to the stand. Oh, just remember your subject is going to be down here. So you kind of want the light shooting kind of diagonal to them. So and then you use this to like, you know, to tighten it up. Right, that's good. Now for some lights, it's good if you have some counterweight, but for this light, I feel like it's pretty much decent on its own. So I'm not gonna add more, more counterweight to it. So I'm just gonna push it up a little bit more. And one thing to know is I always like to keep, if the light is facing this way, I want the stand to like have like something to recline on. So you see kind of it's not parallel. So we just fix that a little bit and we keep it like that. I'm gonna get the soft box for it, which I have back here. Ideally, the softer, the bigger the soft box, the more smooth the light will be, but this will do. All right, guys, so this is what it looks with bad lighting, but once I have my key light ready, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys how it, you know, how to fix the light and how it's gonna look. All right guys, and this is what the image looks like with the key light. We turned off our room light. So um, this is kind of the image that you wanna get. Kind of like that dreamy type of look. Um, so I'm gonna move the light around just to see what looks best. But this is, you know, pretty much the, the setup that you wanna have for a sit down interview if it's for one to two people. All right, so the second thing you wanna do is uh, get a tripod and place your camera um i moved the light here because this is our only source of light right now so just bear with us until we fix it up but you pretty much want to have um so you're gonna have two cameras you're gonna have your main camera right here and you're gonna have your second camera with a tighter focal length onto the side um but we'll go through it and i'll show you guys how i set it up so we're gonna set up the tripod right now All right, so now that we set up our tripod, our main camera, we're actually shooting this with. So I'm going to put a secondary camera here just to kind of give you like the illusion that like how I set it up. But once everything is set and done, I'm going to put my main camera here and I'm going to be able to show you guys exactly how I got the image that I got. All right, guys, so this is our, my secondary camera. Now, this camera usually goes over there with an 85 1.8. And my main a7r3 with the g master 24 to 70 will go right here but just you know just to show you guys kind of like what goes into the like what exactly i do 
Um, so now we're gonna fix the key light back to how I had it and I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my backlight. All right guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to show you guys how I would fix this lighting. So luckily the A6400 has the flip screen. Uh, now I'll be able to see exactly what we're looking at over there. All right guys, so now that we have the camera set up to the angle that I want, we have the key light here with the correct percentage of uh, light that I want and the correct, I think it's at 3800 Kelvin. Um, simply because, you know, our skins are like tannish orange a little bit and I don't want to put like a high beaming 5600 Kelvin light because it's not going to look appealing. But now I'm going to show you guys how I set up my backlight. Now I don't have another light stand, but luckily Franklin has something here that I'm going to use. So obviously okay, when you're building up your setup, you know, camera gear is like real expensive. So you kind of just have to use what you have at your disposal. All right, guys, so I'm going to use this kind of like this. What is this called? Uh, this thing that holds stuff. And I'm going to use my Gorilla Joby tripod. And my backlight that I'm using right now is the Aperture ALMX right here. Uh, I did a video about this, guys, so I'll make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out. All right, so typically I would light this up like this. Turn this around. And this will add a backlight to your subject, kind of creating separations from the back. And also because when you shoot, um, there's going to be, so our key light is lighting up most of our face, but we want that hair light or backlight in order to create more separation. So I'm going to have Franklin sit back here and I'm going to show you guys the difference. All right, guys, and this is what it looks like with a backlight. And this is what it looks like without a backlight. So as you guys can see, the backlight creates a big difference. Now this depends on what type of mood you want. If you want a moody look, you go for this. And if you want for a natural, like corporate type of interview, you use the backlight. As you guys can see, this is much more appealing. All right guys, so now what you wanna do is you're gonna have a second camera. So you, what I usually like to do is have my main camera around 50 millimeters and have my secondary camera at a tighter focal length to kind of like be able to show your viewers like the emotion in people's faces. So for that, I'm gonna use the 85 mil on the 6400. Put it on this little tripod. And thankfully, again, this, this screen, you can move this screen, flip it back because what we're gonna do here is pretty much, we're gonna sit it right here. And if you see, you have to tilt it because that is where our where we're gonna have our subject sitting. So Franklin, do you mind sitting there real quick so I can adjust it? And that is pretty much the look that you will see. Um, you'll see this type of look more in um, future, like more like corporate type of interviews. But I always suggest people to have a secondary angle. Um, so yeah, so this is the secondary camera. Now we're gonna put it on the on the main one and show you guys fully what this setup looks like with the lights and everything. All right, guys, and pretty much after everything is all set and done, this is the quality that you're gonna get. Remember, I have my main key light here. I got my hair light back there. I have an 85 mil right here and then i got my main 50 millimeter here so yeah this is pretty much believe it or not it's not that complicated you kind of just have to play around a little bit and see like you know what's your type of style videos i like this type of style videos because it's a little bit more dreamy feeling a little bit more like um it kind of has my own vibe to it as if it was like a corporate one i would definitely be using probably around 5600 kelvin for this light simply because they're not in it to be dreamy. They're just in it to be, how do I say? They're in it to tell a point and to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this type of look is a little bit darker of a look, but it's a dreamy type of look. So make sure to always find your style and what you think looks the best for yourself and for your clients. And then um, I would usually say always have someone behind the camera, but if not, you can trust these cameras with their autofocus. I have Franklin back there um, and he usually checks audio levels back there. 
So the pair of headphones that I use are the Q, the Quiet Comfort 15s by Bose, just because I feel like the Quiet Comforts they really are able to see like how your mid, like how your levels are. So always have someone on audio, and always I I prefer for you to have somebody back there. But hey guys, this is pretty much the end of the video. So if you guys have any questions about the gear that I use, how much it costs or any video or photography needs, make sure to leave me a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram. And um, yeah, just know that I'm available to do a sit down interview for you like this if you want, if you're in the Boston area. And also if you're, if you're looking for portrait photography, I'm also available for that. So just shoot me a DM on my Instagram. But other than that, this is pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys got a ton of value out of it. And let me know if I should be making more cool videos like this for you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.